Our top story at 530, the search for whoever shot a restaurant parking valet in the back. Yeah, this happened on Saturday night outside of the Chop House on Colonial and 23rd Streets in Park Place in Norfolk. We first showed you a surveillance picture of the suspect on Wavy News 10 midday. Well, since then, we've blown it up so you can get a better look at him. Still, it's a little tough to see, but it's all we have. 10 on your side's Ann McNamara is live outside the Chop House. Now, Ann, first of all, do we know how that valet is doing tonight? I stopped by his home today, not home yet. He's still in the hospital recovering. He was shot in the back. We're told by the restaurant owner that the valet is expected to survive, but still some recovering to do. The focus right now is on finding that suspect, and police are hoping that one of you may recognize him in the new surveillance pictures. These train tracks separate two Norfolk neighborhoods with very different reputations when it comes to safety. That side of the tracks is Ghent, and this side is Park Place. And both sides kind of stay to their own for whatever reason. Chris Fellini works in Park Place at Norfolk Chop House, where a valet driver was shot in the back Saturday night. Police released these surveillance photos from the restaurant cameras today. The restaurant owner says this suspect checked to see if other vehicles were locked before approaching the one where we had a confrontation with the valet. They could happen anywhere. The shootings happen in Virginia Beach all the time. This was just unlucky. There's not a lot of crime here. You know, the only crime you really see is crimes of opportunity. That's, that's what I see right now is the crime of opportunity. Local businessman Kevin O'Connor moved his brewery into the transitional Park Place neighborhood four years ago, hoping to help make positive change. It's, it's disheartening that it happens so close to where we do business. Norfolk Chop House, I mean, they put a lot of time, money, and effort into opening up a very nice restaurant on this side of the tracks, and it really started paving the way for growth over here. O'Connor says one shooting will not stop the progress or make him question his safety, but he certainly feels for employees of Norfolk Chop House who survived quite a scare Saturday night. We kind of look out for each other, but at the same time, we never really felt that we had to look after each other. That's one opinion. We do know that the owner of the Norfolk Chop House did have some safety concerns he brought to police after this shooting. Police tell us they've increased patrols, foot patrols, bike patrols, and the vehicle patrols in this area have that heightened sense of security. And as they know, they said that they will continue to patrol, but they're hoping that this is just an isolated incident. Live in Norfolk, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 your side.